The King of the Elves looked down on the Endermen gathering. He didn't understand. The Elves should all be destroyed, himself included. When he cast the Forbidden Blight, it should have wiped out the invading zombie pigmen, but also the remaining Elves fighting in his palace. And yet, here he stood, looking out over his palace and into the void. One Enderman, considerably bigger than the others, slowly made his way through the crowd. Enderman moved so ploddingly and less angered by eye contact. Elves knew not to look directly into the eyes of one of these tall black creatures, and yet, Iverio, the king of the elves, gazed directly at him. Slowly moving its lanky arms, the large Enderman seemed to gesture the king to come. King Iverio made his way down the stairs, and the Enderman followed him through the courtyard. back to the realm of Vassim. My name is Fix It, and today we're building a brothel. That's right. It's a patron build, and I got requested specifically to make a brothel and anywhere in the world. And I thought, you know what, this ravine, A, there's some, there's a lot of space that needs to be filled up in this ravine, and why not do it right here? So I think I'm going to do the brothel right here. I have a, I have a good plan for it. I think it's going to be really cool, but we're going to do it. If you hear a little voice behind me, a munchkin has invaded my office. Oh, no. Uh, so let me work out the shape and then we'll come back. Oh, it's chaos. All right. So I think that this is going to be the perfect place because, you know, it, it got a frame in this little jungle village I have over here. So let's do it right here. Let's just lay out. Now I have a plan for this ball. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, it's going to be a multi-stage build. I want to do the ground floor today. That's going to be the goal. So, uh, boy, boy, is it framing right now? Okay. Let's back up this. Um something along these lines and then we'll come out here like this i think this should be a nice uh yeah something like this okay because these are going to be the rooms and that's going to be like the main entrance sort of thing so uh you know for a brothel uh, without getting into too graphic detail you need some you need some rooms it's kind of like a hotel that you don't stay all that long at and uh let's see okay we'll just go over here, right here and uh like if i did i mention this this is a patron build so uh don't don't shoot the messenger here uh uh okay so then we'll go over here and do something as simple as that what do you think of that for an easy layout this is going to be the the uh uh, main room and that's going to go back to the rooms and then what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a um a second and possibly third floor to this uh later on so I, let's see do i have any of course i have like no materials yeah i got some of this okay let's do that let's grab i don't know why i have like one stack of this but okay let's do something along these lines and let's go just simple like one two three yeah i think this will be nice okay let me lay out some of the uh, basic ground design and then we'll come back and discuss boy this cathedral is a site isn't it isn't this a site oh man i love this cathedral i kind of wish it was overground sometimes i mean i think it's cool to have an underground cathedral that you might not see unless you happen to see it which is cool uh, but man it's a it's a it's a beauty at some point i gotta landscape the, the front of it too and make it look all you know awesome maybe draw some attention to it because it is it is just a, a a wee bit easy to miss you know what i mean so uh but regardless of that i just grabbed some more of uh this i think that yeah i think that's i, I was fairly sure it was spruce and not dark oak and i think i'm right okay so we got some of this all right, so I, I got this basically laid out. Now, the next thing is going to be, let's make the rooms. And I think the first thing that we should do is probably just put, put these cross beams up here. I went with the stripped on the side because I think that's going to give it just a wee bit of color, which is going to be a really nice touch. And we'll just do this cross beam kind of like this. I think these rooms be being this big or, oops, uh, are probably good enough. Let me see. Uh, that'd be like, what would it be? Uh, three by, yeah, three by three. I think that is plenty of room. Plenty of room uh, for just little, little uh, uh, hotel rooms. Uh, okay, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Okay, and then that doesn't attach. That's kind of a drag. Okay, let's do this then. Uh, something like this. Do, 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 do. And let's make this attach just up like that. How's that going to look from over here? Oh, it's going to be great. Okay, no problem there. And for right now, we'll just break through here. Um, good. Okay, so that's the next part. Now, next thing I think I, think I should do is floor. Now, this is going to be weird because we're not doing a roof. We're not doing a roof here. 
I thought this would be kind of a fun way to, to decorate the top of it is is like do how I have the strip on the outside there, stripped on the outside here or on the inside rather here. And then we'll put in just a, a, a like a slab ceiling. And now these rooms are smaller than I thought because what I forgot about, it's not gonna be three by three because I forgot about the uh, hallway. <laughs> There's got to be a hallway. So yeah, it's gonna be narrow. It's gonna be, you know what? It's, I guess it's, I guess it's what, uh, it's what it is. It's what it is. It's supposed to be a brothel, right? So, oops, that's not what I thought would come out. Okay, there we go. And, uh, okay. So now I, the only other thing I want to work out for, for this is I want to work out the, the inside of the rooms and these rooms are all going to be the same, probably maybe different colored beds, maybe, um, but they're going to be basically the same and, uh, that's okay. And that, that's fine. Uh, then I want to work out the ceiling and I think for ceiling, I want to do something Hmm, I don't have anything here. I kind of like to do like a uh, like a lighter wood, maybe or some some maybe even sandstone. Like something lighter would be really nice. So I guess I'll grab I'll grab some sandstone put in here, and then I'll grab the beds. Then the other part is whenever you walk in, I'm very lost. Whenever you walk in here, this is gonna be the main door. So when you walk in here, you're gonna walk in, and you're gonna be like. Um, there's going to be a bar, a bar over here. And then you're going to walk over here and maybe there'll be like, uh, maybe like a, a stage right along here. I think that could be something. So like, let's work out something like, like this, um, like a platform, right? Where, uh, where, where the girls, uh, will come up here. Uh, and, um, Hmm, how are we going to do it? Maybe should we do trap doors? Let's do, let's try trap doors and see how this, see how this feels. It's like something like... Um, something like this and then on top. Uh, yeah. Okay. It is a, a little tricky, a little tricky. Something like, something like this, I think could be kind of fun. Um, there we go. So then they'd stand behind that and over here could be, uh, I need, I need like a, a staircase. Let's do one stair. That's fine. I'll, I'll blend in. I'll blend, boy, so I'll tell you, you know, one thing you can't do on bedrock, um, that, that you can do on Java is is you can do this uh, uh, where you just press the number. Um, it, it doesn't seem like a video, but I can just press like number eight and see it just goes right there. Uh, boy, that is such a time saver. So, so yeah, so they'd come up here and they'd be like, doo, 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 doo. and then any any paying customers could be like, oh, I like number uh, four, you know, and then you'd go like number four and you'd take your nap or whatever you do in your in your hotel room and then uh, go on with your day. So that's kind of my thinking. Also, you know what? I think this needs to be stripped and that needs to be stripped. I want to, I want to, I want to maintain that. Like, I like this. I like this idea of like uh, this. Also, it lightens up the room just a little bit. So I think that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And then we'll do slabs on top. So let me get some materials and then we'll discuss the next portion of this bill. We're getting there. Did a couple other little things. I realized this clip's starting just like the last one because uh, all my storage is, is back in, in there for this ravine sort of area. But uh, I also worked out the beginnings of where roads may end up being down here because uh, this building's probably going to end up being a, a pretty big one. And, you know, Callus built this building over here, so I want to kind of keep this in a in a similar vein to that one. I think that would look kind of nice just so it's not completely different. So I actually may end up using the gray... Is that gray, ter gray concrete? But then again, it's also used over here, so I hate to do too much of it. So I don't know. I don't know the, what the second floor is going to be, but regardless of that, that's not going to happen uh, today. But what I do think that I should probably do is put in windows. Now, this is going to be weird. I'm putting windows in up here, uh, and that's because uh, I don't think for a ground floor you would want windows uh, well on the ground floor where there's a path. I think that they would probably make sense to be sort of up there. And I'm going to use uh, iron bars. I, I just think I think it's a cooler look. Um, it kind of gives not uh, that fancy of a look. I think that's uh, kind of cool as well. Then in here, in here, in this area, I'm going to make this uh, be like sort of the, the regular size. But again, using iron, using iron bars, um, which, you know, uh, if you want to pretend like the like there's glass between them or something like that. So it's not just open the elements. That's okay. But I mean, we're in a ravine under a leaf canopy. It's probably going to be going to be all right. But I think this is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. 
Okay. So a couple other things I, I got to work out down here. I started working on a little bar area. I think that's, I think that works okay. It, it wasn't really completely intended to have that in that, uh, this by the window, but I think it's kind of cool. Leaves lets in some light anyway. Um, this stuff is cool. I think the next thing I, I got to do is use some scaffolding and put in some tables. So this is probably going to go away. Let's just pick that up. I can't pick it up. I need to put in some, put some stuff in. Let's throw all the cobblestone in there. Okay. All right. And this guy, Hmm. I mean, this does not belong in here. Let's let's make one of these rooms our little like a uh, work room here. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, that'll be just fine. Okay, cool. All right, and then I also brought in some lanterns too, and uh, thinking that this would be a nice place to drop in some lanterns somewhere. I'm just not sure exactly where. So let's see if we had. Um, I don't suppose this is on the same. It's not. So you can't really connect those very well. Can I do this? Yeah. Okay, that's better. But I don't think that is this. Yeah, see, I don't want that to be there because it's going to be too... Mm, you know what? Actually, this might work. No, you know what? I changed my mind. I, this is going to be taller. This is going to be tall. This is going to be a taller room. So I don't want those that have the cross beams there. Maybe I'll have the cross beams up a little higher. But that's going to come in whenever we do the second floor. So uh, let's throw in tables as I as I initially said. And I, I actually I can just go ahead and put lanterns on the table for right now. That would kind of work where it would work for now. Um, and this area here is going to be where the uh, the the stools are. And I've done this trick quite a few times. But let's do let's do this. Let's grab a, a couple. Um, a couple, uh, what are these called? Uh, fences? Uh, fences is the word I'm looking for here. Grab a couple of these fences and we'll have to grab a few trap doors. Um, something like this many. That's plenty. Okay. And then let's do, let's do, uh, one, two, three, and four. Um, yeah, should be good. So something like this. I think I've done this trick so many times now. I I've just kind of gotten used to it. I w it's a little high, but I think it's I think it's generally good. Let's see, something like that. Yeah, that's a good place for seats. It kind of looks right. I mean, this should probably be a little higher, but the problem is I want to put I want to put cups on it. You can't put cups on a half slab, so don't work. Okay, so let's do let's do a table there and maybe a table over here. That'll be cool. And I want to put uh, spruce. I think chairs. So we'll grab some chairs over here. And I think I want to grab some spruce signs. So let me see about that. Let's do some of these guys. We'll do, oops, uh, we'll do signs. It's so weird to be carrying around, uh, it's so weird to be carrying around um, fireworks. I'm so out, out, of, out of habit of that. All right, we'll throw in right here. So let's go chair, chair, chair. That'll be fine. Some of the, then I, I'll put like signs on some of them. Like like this one. Like some of these are maybe a little bit nicer of a chair. I could actually go around the back. That's kind of kind of a cool look. Okay, let's go there. Same thing. Oh nope. Uh, I don't want I don't want a mini couch there. Just a regular chair would be just fine. Uh, yeah, cool. That's good. Um, is that it? I don't want to put like a chair right here. So yeah, I think we're in a good place. We can throw in a, throw a lantern on there and a lantern on here light this place up just a wee bit and also if i have any of the fence left i do let's hang a fence or let's hang a lantern from here and here yeah that'll be cool. oh boy that's right where his head is okay that's so that one's not gonna work <laughs> it's just it's gonna be so we'll have to move it uh let's see where can we put it instead mm -hmm. uh it's not ideal it's not ideal. I can't. I can't put it there because that's gonna. That's gonna directly hit the guy's head. I could put one here. That'll light up that little area. I can get rid of this torch man. And uh, let's see. Hmm. I really kind of need to have one over here. Well, what if we just did one like right there? Yeah, that'll be good enough. Okay. So there we go. So the 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 room is lit up. The back rooms need to be done. So I need. Let's see. One. Well, let's not, let's just make. We'll just make that like a storage room. So two four six eight i need eight room full of stuff so let me head up to storage and grab a bunch of stuff for rooms then i'll come back and we'll uh, we'll detail out the uh well the rooms where the deeds are done 
Isn't this cool? Isn't this uh, this entire world and everything cool? Like, there's just a big mushroom cave up there, and, and uh, this is where where the 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 beginnings of the brothel is gonna be. And I think what I'm gonna do is bring this jungle area sort of like around it, uh, so it may end up being kind of a jungle brothel. But I think since I was coming down anyway, this is basically how I get up and down uh, from that little entrance up there. I thought I would just show some of that stuff and also come in and uh, because I'm gonna have to make the beds and all, all that kind of stuff for this place in addition to some doors and, and everything else I'd like to kind of use dark oak dark oak doors are a lot nicer than than our uh, <clears throat> excuse me than, than our spruce doors so might as well just use all dark oak doors feels like it'd be a little touch of class here let's make that oh that's a lot that's all I forgot you got three I forgot you got three that's okay okay there we go there's that and there's that and then I think uh yeah, let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of hate to make these rooms any smaller, honestly, than they already are, but, um, yeah. It, it, I, I think that to make the hallway look look better, we'll just, we'll just do this. That'll be okay. Probably mobs are going to end up spawning here, so, uh, let's see. Uh, I already got mixed up as well. I think I made, I think I brought, like, ten of everything instead of eight of everything. Um, okay, so that's... That's that. I'll throw a torch for right now. This is this torch lighting is not forever. I'm gonna figure out how to do how to do lanterns or what the best way to do. I I could just hang them. I mean I could honestly, honestly that's already better. Let's just let's just do that. You can just walk under it. It's 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 still it's not great, but it's better. It's better. Okay. Uh, a couple other things I have. I brought a whole bunch of different colors of wool on me so we can make a bunch of different beds here. So let's see. Uh, if there's one thing that we have a lot of, it is, it is wood. So we'll make those and those. And uh, actually, no, check that. We're going to make uh, this. I th How many do I need? I need eight, right? So that's, how many is that? That's six. Um that and let's make one purple bed okay and then this i want actually to be a uh, carpet for a different for a whole different reason but oops okay uh let's throw some beds in here and and decorate the rooms i'll make them all all beautiful or, or something and uh should uh should be ready for for sort of the the final product i oh, darn it, i forgot slabs up here all right, so I think I got everything done here. I, got, I did some texture variation, just a little bit, and I think we're good. So if you look in the rooms, you got little uh, little rooms there, a little chest and a, a trash can uh, to dispose of unmentionables and, and so forth. And, and yeah, I think things are things are good. Each room has its own painting, and yeah, it looks uh, quite quite lovely. Quite lovely, if uh, if not just a little bit claustrophobic. The last thing I want to add is I want to add, and I don't know where. I don't really have a great place, but I think eh, maybe right here. I want to add a a a bell. I want to add a. Oh, it looks like you don't need to have that. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it looks good. I, I want to have a. Uh, wait, how do you really? You, you can't just no. Huh, I thought for sure you could ding it. Anyway, I want to have a uh, uh, satisfied customer bell. So you walk out, ding, and then go about your bag. Go about your business. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. That's going to do it for me today. Uh, look, we've done a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff here. We built the first floor of a brothel. More to come in a future episode. I want to say a special thanks to MOC Ardor for your your generous support on uh, Patron of, of the channel and of the server. Uh, you know, uh, Patron support is the only way that I'm able to run the server uh, let, that we do. It's, it's, um, you know, it's a big server and uh, a lot of people. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And this is your idea. Hope you enjoy it. There's going to be more to come, but, uh, for right now, for right now, we're going to wrap it up for today. Okay. I'll see you all next episode from the realm of ass. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you, uh, see you next time. Bye bro.